Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is February 14, 2018. Today we will be viewing some large planets viewed from Alaska and Canada today. These images are raw, unedited footage that just came in today from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams. The first video we are watching shows two large planets viewed from the southeast facing camera in Heidelberg, Alaska. The first planet is to the right of the sun with stripes on it. The second one is in front of the sun but behind the flashlight sun. The flashlight sun contains a black dot during an eclipse and sets much closer to the earth than the sun. Each frame is 10 minutes, so as the sun moves westward to the right, it will eclipse the planet on the right and allow us to see the planet currently behind the flashlight sun. However, it is nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. Watch the water reflections carefully. Notice how the sun's reflections disappear when these two planets are in front of the sun and behind the flashlight sun. The sun's reflection disappears from the water on the left side of the screen as one planet blocks its light. Then the reflection disappears again as the sun goes behind the striped planet that we saw at the beginning of the video on the right. Now that the sun has moved westward to the right of the screen, the other large planet is now visible, however very, very faint because of the transparency caused by the atmospheric chemicals. But look closely and you can see it. Let's play that video again so that you can see the oddly shaped reflection of part of the eclipse concealing equipment. It starts out on the lower right of the screen, then swings across to keep itself, the eclipsing planet and the black dot, all in perfect alignment for optimum concealment. Our next video from Craig, Alaska, demonstrates the function of the eclipse concealing equipment. The eclipsing planet is behind the flashlight sun and in front of the real sun at this very moment. The oddly shaped reflections of the eclipse concealing equipment swing into place, keeping in perfect alignment with the planet and the black dot for optimum concealment. The concealment jet zooms across the screen to the left as the sun moves to the right keeping in alignment with the black dot and the planet. Once the sun has moved to the right, the planet emerges from behind but is barely visible due to the atmospheric chemicals. Look closely, the planet is now between the mountain and the sun, but it becomes hidden behind the chemical clouds. The next video is from the southeast facing camera located at Cape Spencer, Alaska. This video was taken at exactly the same time as the eclipse we just watched. Thus, we know it's the same planet. Watch the water carefully. The sun's reflection actually disappears for two full frames, which is 20 minutes at 10 minutes per frame. The planet goes in front of the real sun but remains behind the flashlight sun so that it's not obvious that an eclipse is occurring. But the water reflections tell the truth. These next images came from the southeast facing camera located in Chilkat, Alaska. Look closely and you'll see a planet in the sun's glare close to the mountain top. The sun is getting ready to eclipse the planet. The flashlight sun's black dot appears and sends out a positioning indicator beam to the concealment jet, which is waiting. It swings across the screen from the right to the left in perfect alignment with the eclipsing planet and the black dot for maximum concealment of the eclipse. Once past the planet, the concealment jet zooms off to the left and the sun continues its journey westward. Our next video comes from the Chicamas Canyon Tower today. 
The sun appears to be huge because its glare is actually engulfing another planet close to it, which is another function of the eclipse concealment system. As the sun moves westward to the right, the other large planet engulfed in glare breaks free to the left. Notice the small moons in the upper right corner of the screen. We saw these same small moons yesterday, but today they're a little bit further away from the sun with less glare. This video is a close-up of those moons that we just saw with no editing except for zooming in for a closer look. One of the moons has stark markings on it, making it easier to see that they are rotating. These moons orbit a planet that is not visible in this video. Here is an even closer up view of those same moons. They seem to have a red color cast to them, and they're further away from the sun than they were yesterday when we viewed these very same moons. Our last video was captured by the south-facing Edna Bay, Alaska weather cam. It shows a very fast rotating red planet full of craters. However, as the sun prepares to eclipse this planet, it does become lost in the chemical clouds shrouding the sun. The planets and moons we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when this system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text.